All right, let me show you how to install the ZV1 firmware update. Before doing that, just go to the menu number five on top and page number five and click on the version to see which version currently you are in. It should be version 1.0. So the update that we're gonna do is version 2.0. In order to do that, make sure your USB connection is set to mass storage. And then we need access to the port that is in between the HDMI and the mic. So open that up. It is a micro USB kind of cable and you can connect that to the camera end and on the other side of the cable you should have a regular USB which can be connected to your laptop or docking station. In my case it's a docking station so connect that. And first I tried with the Mac and because my Mac OS is the latest, it is not compatible. So then later I had to move it to Windows Microsoft Surface laptop that I had and I was able to update the version to 2.0. So let me show you what that process in Windows looks like. Once it is installed, you can exit the mode by clicking that mode button on top to exit out of the USB streaming state. All right, on the Windows tablet that I had, I had to click on the Windows version of the firmware and then download using the download button on top. It will ask for feedback. You can ignore it and click to download and read the end user license agreement. After that, click download. It may ask you for signing in. So if you don't have a Sony account, you may want to create one. I already have, so I signed in. After that, it started downloading the firmware. Once the download is completed, I click on it. Then it will take you through the widget and you click on next and it then runs through it. Just make sure the camera is connected as per the instruction on the screen and the cable is attached. Then click next and it will show the current and the new version, version one and version two at the bottom left. And then the overall installation took me around 10 to 12 minutes so here i just sped it up camera would go blank the screen wise but uh, you are okay as long as the installation on the computer screen is moving once you're done just click finish and then you're all set all right after you have completed the firmware update on the zv1 to 2.0. Now you can use the camera as a webcam when doing online conference or live streaming. So let me show you how to do that in Skype and what change you have to do on the camera. So on the camera side, it's pretty simple. You turn on the camera, go to menu. On the menu number two, page four, you can see USB streaming. Just press OK. So it, it enters into a USB streaming mode. At that time, all you need is to take your USB cable and then connect it. So when you connect on the screen, you can see that it's also asking if you want to use the audio from this. So if you want to connect a mic here and use the audio and video from this, you can do that. So in my case, I'm just saying don't use it because we are interested in the video. So let me go to the Skype and if I click on meet now, so I can show you how the camera is. I'm gonna start meeting. And at the bottom on Skype, you can see if you click on the video, it's actually taking the input from my camera. So let me turn it around. There you have it. As you can see here, Whatever the camera is seeing here, that's what is on the screen also. So, hello. <laughs> so it's as simple as that. And in order to come out of the streaming mode, all you have to do is on the top, there is this mode button. So press on that and it will ask you to come out and say just okay by pressing the center button. And that ends on the screen. You can see it ended the video. So yeah, it's pretty simple as that and uh, very easy to install the firmware if you have Mac and if you have installed the latest operating system, it doesn't support. So you can check that by clicking the Apple link on the top corner and click on 
about this Mac. And if it says Mac OS Big Sur, then unfortunately the firmware cannot be updated using this. I tried it and it did not work. So I have to go back to my Microsoft Surface Pro, a Windows based tablet to download the firmware and update it. And that's how I was able to get the firmware updated to 2.0 and uh, hope you enjoyed it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you found this informative or useful. If you did, give it a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.